Uh, let's go to John. John is calling on the uh, Oak Restaurant Hotline from the borough. He's listening on WGNS, and he's got a question for us. John, who are you supporter of in the borough? John, are you there? Uh, Coach Weaver, I believe you're talking to Will Bontic here. Will! Oh, Will, are we, on, up, right? are we on three? Okay. Is John still on two? We'll come to, back to John here in just a second. Will, you were covering the Adamsville uh, at Eagleville game tonight, uh, and uh, – I saw your tweet and instantly cringed uh, as as uh, Chris Hale goes down with an injury. I guess you got your information from the uh, trainer. Does it look like it's going to be an ACL for Chris Hale? You know, I think that is what it is. The trainer couldn't confirm. Of course, there's no MRI machines out here, and Coach Carson didn't know for certain either after the game. But watching the injury, that was the initial word in the press box. I think the initial test they did on the field um, you know, when the trainer tests the knee, they can do those those hand tests um, with the knee to see to see what they think it might be. And obviously, if it's an ACL, uh, they're very familiar with that. And I think that it, I think there's a chance that he may have shredded every ligament in it. Of course, that's just me speculating. Um, you won't find any of this in my story in the DNJ tomorrow uh, because I just can't confirm any of it right now. But he did come back out on the field on crutches. Uh, it was a very somber. Somber scene. It was one of those when you when you saw the hit. Uh, it was one of those uh, where you just kind of knew. Uh, you just kind of saw it happen, and you're like, "Well, that didn't look good." The, the, he was getting tackled high, and it was a clean play. Uh, he was getting. It was totally a clean play, but he was getting tackled high, and then a corner came in and hit him low, and he kind of got bent back over himself. And um, it wouldn't surprise me if he said that his cleat hung in the ground there and you know you know that injury that you kind of see all the time and you're just like well that was an ACL yeah. and I think that's probably what happened tonight to Chris very unfortunate for Eagle um, they were well matched in this game this game would have came down to a last possession had he been in it I, I do not um, have any discrepancy about that Adamsville pulls away late um, but I was proud of Eagle and the way they fought in this game after losing your, your Mr. Football finalist the way they did um, and everybody knew he wasn't coming back. I don't think there was anybody in the stadium once he went to the sideline in so much pain and basically had to be carried off the field. Uh, everybody knew he wasn't going to come back. Eagleville could have killed over and died, but they didn't actually cut it to nine to six in this game early in the or late in the third quarter. But a offsetting unsportsmanlike penalty calls the touchdown back, and that was really the game changer. If that if that score would have stood, um, Eagleville would have. You know, I think the crowd would have gotten back into it, but unfortunate for Chris and the Eagle Bulls, they fall short of the semifinals for a third straight year. All right, Will Borthick, the Cub reporter for the DNJ. And there you go. I like that. I like that. Well, you, you do good work, my friend. Cub I think well, I appreciate it, guys. Cub reporter. I like that. Uh, <laughs> we will. Uh, uh, I don't know if you, what you're going to be doing next week. If you're going to be doing basketball, or if you're going to be going to Maryville. So uh, I'll talk to you soon, one way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay, my friend. Sounds good, guys. I appreciate y'all having me on this year. Good luck, and we'll be back next fall for sure. All right. Take care. Will Borthick of the DNJ joining us.